there to a different league I've never been and just did my thing. So, man. Definitely. Right now, we, you know, we started in the high school level, San Benito, you know, doing your thing. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you're playing in Mexico. Man, you made it far. Like, sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, you're still young. You got more things to do, you know, ahead of you after we, you know, done with all this situation we're passing through right now with the pandemic. But yeah. Doing your whole seat, your whole career, who was your toughest <laughs> opponent you faced? The toughest opponent I faced? Uh, wow. I think playing against, uh, wow. There's definitely a couple of players that were hard to like play against. But I don't have one specifically like. Who gave you problems when you when you made it to the pro league? Like one player that you yo, he's legit. Oh, for sure. He got, um, me. He got me a couple of games. You know what? Uh, even though he wasn't fast as I was and all that, uh, I think. Wow, you know what? I'm gonna say Vinales. Wow. Oh, Vinales. What he got? What he got? His his game is different. Like, he's fast. He could handle the ball. He could shoot. It was, it was, I think it was kind of hard to guard him. Best teammate. Best teammate. Best teammate. Man. I think from, uh, I mean, I think the one that's been always with me, like, now and stuff, I think, uh, Matias. Okay. And I got, uh, I got a lot of teams, man. Like, <laughs> I mean, w- Willie Rodriguez, Danny Clemente. I remember out of Seawall, I used to just be with him. Uh... And that's a couple of players, but those three, I think. Yeah, is nice. He's a top of player. For yeah, sure. Matias, yeah. Best so, coach. Best coach, I think. Uh, wow. I'm going to say this. Uh, last <laughs> night I had this interview with my one of my uh, friends that play with me. Yeah. Uh, he asked me the same thing, and I told him, when I played with Coach Albel, yeah, he was different because he let me play. You know what I'm saying? He let me do my thing. But if I if I wanted to pick uh, uh, Coach People, he changed my game a little bit. He changed my game a little bit. I wasn't that offensive as I was in my 10th grade and 11th grade. But I think I'm gonna say. I'm gonna I'm I'm say Ivan, definitely. People. Just, yeah, just, yeah, I think him. Not for sure. Now, if you have a starting five in the best area, who's the starting five in the league right now? Top players. Starting, top players? Yeah. I'll have, I'll have Walter, Dari Hueltas, uh, does uh, they they gotta be natives? No, nah. you starting five of the best saying it. I mean, I'm a I'm a I'm a let's say the best. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna pick my best five native players in the All BSN. Right. That's good enough. So I'm gonna get Walter, David Vueltas, uh, I'm gonna get. Oof. Native <laughs> players. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to see from each team. I'll have... That's, I got the one, I got the two. That's a three. Uh, I'll get Basayo. Not bad. Uh, I'll get Peter. Even though people hate him and his game and stuff, but he's seven three. Seven three, good boy. I'll get him and 
Uh, and I'll have a feet of five. That's a four, man. Hmm. That's a four, man. That's tough. I don't know who's dominant at the four right now. It's a native. Who you, who you, who you, you know any players that you think that? I, uh, I would put Pedagogo there. Hmm. I need some defense. You need some defense. Definitely, that's that. That could be a choice, but tell, Bimbo. Me, tell me another. Bimbo, Bimbo, I could stretch in the four. Hmm, yeah, I, I don't know. I think that's that's my. You go small ball too. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know, like, man. but that's a that's a lot of good players. It, it, but it's hard. I mean, but those are the guys. That I think, I mean, that's a lot of top five players that. No, we got in Puerto Rico. We got a great, you know, small ball lineup. Definitely, we got shooters, yeah, yeah, yeah. guards. And right Definitely. now, I know you're into the NBA too, so let's talk about a little bit of NBA. Yeah, 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 yeah. Top five for you in the NBA right top now. Top five for the NBA right now. I got that are playing or or just. Well, tough. You know let's, what? Go, let's go all time. Let's go all time. All, all time. All time. All time. Yeah, they make it interesting. All time. Yeah. So if I want to do a team, a starting lineup, for sure, I'll get Adam Iverson. I'll get. Uh. I'll get the Wade. Wade, wait, wait, I'm prime, okay. prime time, prime okay, time. Okay, flash, flash, wait. Flash, wait. Converse, converse. Okay. <laughs> I'll get, I'll, I'll pick LeBron. See the Melo. Okay. And Shaq. You got a good squad. You got, you know. You got the Bond Wade, you got rest, the Banana Boat. You forgot Chris Paul, but for the Banana Boat, you got three of them. Yo, that's, t- that's a lot of. Like that's to make a team like that. That's, no, but AI that's tough, the thing is that, that got, no, but AI is a beast though. People don't know that AI I know, I know. and his prime was yeah. just such a beast that people forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm not gonna forget about RP to Kobe. You know what I'm right. saying? But but I just wanna make a, a starting lineup when when you know what I'm saying, a group of young guys that No, but the thing is that those guys you say, the ones that you saw when you were growing up too, you saw AI on his yeah, prime, yeah. you saw D Wade do his thing. I actually went I, rem- I remember going to when the Sixers played Orlando here and I seen I remember I went with my jersey, Iverson jersey, my braids. That was watching that AI Iverson ch- in real changed life. the game though. He changed the game. He made the game, you know, you know, a lot yeah. better. Definitely. He was just playing. Like, I watched him, and I was just... That's the same way he played pickup. Like, Where? I don't know. Like, he didn't... It's speedball, yeah. Just it didn't, it didn't, up. It didn't was look squad. like he was... It didn't look like he was just... He was playing... I think he was just playing for... It looked like he was playing for fun. Like, it wasn't actually like... He was taking that seriously, like... The way that he moves, all that, the way yeah, he, he made shot, it easy. He made it easy. Went, but just the way him running back to defense after he scored, like, I don't know. Oh, he was crazy. I like that, yeah. though. But, yeah, my favorite my favorite play, though, is uh, Rondo. That's that's who I really look up to on just the way, the style he passed the ball, just get the teammates involved, rebounding, just playing defense. I always like Rondo since he went to, when he went to Kentucky. So I you were watching Rondo early though. You was watching Rondo early, early. early. Oh. Rondo, Rondo was my thing. I was looking for Rondo on YouTube highlights, passing all this stuff. I think he was, yeah, he was my favorite. No, Rondo's one. a beast. People you know, forget too, like you know, in the '08 Celtics team, he was they, the, they the motor. They gotta look them stats though. Yeah, eight, eighteen points, twenty assists, twenty rebounds. Like people forget was, that's NBA two K's numbers. Uh, that, yeah. They don't, they don't know that. They yeah. see Rondo as all right. He won on way, all that. But 
if you check up the stats now, you're going to be like, damn, Rondo is balling. It's true. And he's still balling, you know. Before this, he was, you yeah, know, he's chilling. The right now he's chilling. Right now he's chilling. Different he balls, different balls. But veteran. still, he could add, you know, elements to the game. With veteran, him. veteran. So comes. Veteran. He's a veteran right now. That oh. for show. Man. It's crazy. It's a pleasure, Pizarro. You know, appreciate you. Yeah. Coming by, you yeah. know, on uh, Cancha, first episode. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best yeah. of luck, man. You know, we love you. You know, we, yeah, we love you, you too. You know, yes, great job, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you. Thank you for everything you guys done for me over there. Your parents, everybody. Uh, I think that was, that was, that was something to uh, like never forget those days playing around, just having fun as teammates. I think, I think that's a, one of the good things about just having a team and and uh, after the games, just, oh, let's go here, let's go there, and just have us as a family, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think I think that was good, and that was that's something that a lot of teams should do. Because I remember when I was a kid, when we win, all the coaches – Oh, let's go here. Let's go eat pizza and all that. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, I mean, to do it in in that time, because we all grown men by that time, and to do that with us, it was it was something to remember too. Like you remember about those days that you go and they take you to eat because you won and you did this. It was it was pretty fun. It was cool. It was cool, man. People yeah, love you yeah. too, Jago. You know the kids. You know look up to you. And, yeah. you know, your example to follow through, you know, your journey. Mm -hmm. They're going to listen now and they're going to see it. And you're going to create motivation, you know, perseverance. Mm -hmm. And you did a lot of things, man. You have more things to go, you know, in the future. But the things yeah. you accomplished right now is, is major. It's major. Yeah. And uh, I just want to say to, like, all the young fellas that are out there, that's out there uh, trying to make it and they're just trying to have basketball as a career. I just want to say to be more responsible in in the schoolwork. Uh as me making an example, like I didn't I didn't take it seriously at school. I think if I would have had better grades and I just we had that uh mentality to study and all that stuff, I think I would have been the story would have been different. I think I would have been playing Division One. Who knows after that? Uh, just to concentrate on uh, on the future, because basketball, it's not it's not gonna it's not gonna you're not gonna play forever. Basketball in one point of your life is gonna be over. Uh, I just think to uh, don't think that be it. I know I'm playing BSN right now, but don't think as that's the goal that I want to make it to the BSN. There's other goals, just playing Division One, or try to make it somewhere else better. Because even though BSN is something that everybody dreams about to go in and play, I know I know it's something great, but there's other stuff way better, like college, going to college, and just having the experience to play. Uh, I think it's different. So, I mean, just stay safe. No, stay in the house. Just keep working. Just have that working mentality. That's real. Yeah. Appreciate you, Big Appreciate mm -hmm. you, man. Take care. Yes, sir. I'll see you soon.